Hi, everybody. It's so wow. <laughs> it's been a long time. Um, I've been busying myself with a lot of gardening. It's uh, spring, summer time here in Las Vegas, and I love a green yard. I love vines and fruits and vegetables and <laughs> green grass. And besides all that, I have been going through quite a lot of health issues. I was actually just looking back at some of my videos, um, the last ones that I have done, and jeez, good lord. <laughs> uh, I don't look so good. Anyway, you know all that I, I, I whoops, <laughs> I guess I should go. Over. <laughs> oh, my God. Anyhow, I, uh, God, I, I am a positive person, you know, sometimes life just throws stuff at us that sends us whirling. I, uh, had some issues after I was cured of hep C. My platelets were very low, and, uh, we all know with hep C, we have low platelets, <laughs> It's just a part of Hep C. You have thin blood. Our, our livers don't function right. Well, they did blood test after I was sick for that nine weeks. After the epiclusa, I'm still not convinced that it was the black mold alone that caused uh, my sickness. Everybody I talk to say they get the flu after epiclusa. Uh, at this point in my life... <laughs> With all sincerity, I wish I hadn't have took that cure. The same. Anyway, um, <clears throat> as I had told you all before, my pancreas. Um, well, right before I started Epiclusa, I had a ultrasound biopsy of my liver, and they do all of your internal organs in that area. I don't have a gallbladder, so they couldn't check it. But they did notice that the duct to my pancreas was a little bit enlarged. And when I spoke to my gastrologist before I started Epiclusa, he said, you know what, it's, it's really nothing to worry about, Tammy. We can check it now, or we can check it after your Epiclusa. I chose to have it checked after Epiclusa. I had no signs or symptoms or anything else of having <laughs> of having um, any pancreas issues, sugar issues. Your your pancreas um, is in charge of, sh of sugar control. So anyway, after I was cured, I moved forward with the pancreas. Um, they have to do blood work and all that, so they did a thorough blood work and they did a CT scan. <laughs> oh, Lord. <coughs> it's been a minute. <laughs> they did a CT, C, CT scan <laughs> my teeth of um, my uh, pancreas. And they did blood work. Well, my blood work came back and something was wrong. Uh, just the platelets. I have extremely low platelets. They haven't gone up since the cure. I'm still cured, but my pancreas, uh, my platelets have not gone up. They haven't uh, really changed. They, they went up a few points, and then they dropped, and they went up a few points, and then they dropped. The next thing they checked me for um, was cancer. The big C word, and not Hep C. <laughs> um, and it came back that I have. I don't want to cry here. Um, yeah, it's kind of hard. Okay, I have multiple myeloma, I think is how you say it. It is a bone cancer, um, blood cancer 
in the leukemia family. Um, on May 8th, they did a bone marrow biopsy. And it hurt like hell. <laughs> I'm telling you people, it hurt like hell, okay? <laughs> this girl don't like pain. <laughs> that hurt, but I have the most awesome doctor. <clears throat> gave me extra nummy. <laughs> Not that it helped, but anyway, um, they did a biopsy because there are different levels of multiple my myeloma. Um, one of them is SG, S, no, MGUS is at the top of the line. MGUS. And that's the, that's the starting is a bone cancer. And when you have MGUS, they have to check you every year for multiple myeloma. Um, multiple myeloma is a bone cancer. It's usually a secondary cancer. So it comes back. <laughs> the CT scan of my pancreas comes back some abnormals, abnormality, abnormal, anyway, you know what word I'm trying to say. <laughs> I'm emotional here, people, okay, help me out. Anyhow, um, it came back that there's some abnormalities in my pancreas. Now, my oncologist said not to, I shouldn't worry about it because there's no tumors. Well, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, um, but they're still checking that further. It came back that somehow I have heart disease. Now, people, I have never had issues with my heart but one time in my life, and that was in August of 2013. My heart rate went up to 250 beats per minute for some stupid reason. So they rushed me to the hospital. I spent a week there. They ran every test they could possibly run, including stress test. My heart was fine. It did come back that I had a palpitation uh, from birth. Never noticed it, never had an issue with it. And they sent me home, said, you're fine, go home. Well, now, supposedly through my blood work, they find that I have vein disease or something crazy like that. Now, while well, I was on Epiclusa, if you'll remember, I spoke often about pains in my chest, cramping. I didn't know if it was gas, because we all know that gas can get trapped up in your ribcage and cause discomfort. Well, supposedly, <laughs> I mean, all this shit hit me like in a week. Uh, um, supposedly, I have heart disease. Now, I have walked, and I mean walked. Um, for 10 years or more, 12, more like 12 years since 2000, when I weighed 220 pounds, I started walking after every meal. Well, those walks got up to be sometimes, some days, seven, 14 miles a day. I walked every day at least five miles, and that was the least. And then most days I walked over that every day. I didn't miss a day. And then a couple of years ago, I got into an abusive relationship and I quit walking. Um, afraid to go out, didn't know what guy was up to, la 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 la. <laughs> the fact is, I, I quit walking every day. So I don't understand how in just two years after being healthy, and people, I eat healthy. I live healthy. The only habit I have is I smoke. And my lungs aren't bad. Go figure. But anyhow, so they hit me at the beginning of the month with bone cancer. Right, something wrong with my pancreas. It's supposed to have heart disease. And you know, I have to say that August, before I started taking Epipusa in September, my doctor told me I was the healthiest 55-year-old, 56-year-old at the time, no, seven, 
<laughs> older than 58. Uh, the oldest 50, uh, the healthiest 57 year old he'd ever seen, ever. Everything came back good all the time. He couldn't believe I had Hep C. He couldn't believe I that I had the bone destruction that I have going on from the arthritis. And then all of a sudden, my world falls to hell in a handbasket. And all after I take Epicusa. Yeah. <laughs> I wish to God I hadn't taken that drug. Now we all know that Hep C couldn't cause cancer. We're told that um, that we'll die of cancer with Hep C especially before a cure. I've had friends die of hep C and they usually die of some sort of cancer or organ shut down. And did the hep C keep the cancers under control? Did the hep C kill the viruses and keep my veins clean? And how in just three short months can one drug destroy a body? I have so many people so many that are having issues after they have finished taking one of these cures. I can't recommend it with a good conscience right now. And I was so excited for this cure. I, you know, I battled with it, I have to be honest. I didn't want to take it. I thought, why bother? God has sustained me all this time. I'm healthier than I've ever been, happier than I've ever been. I was hardly ever sick. Now, I'm, I'm sick all the time. All the time. My hair is falling out. <laughs> um, I can't with a good conscience say that I would take up a closer again. Actually, I wish I had never took it. But we're going to get on with the other thing at hand here. Uh, I am going to start a video with diary. of my journey with multiple myeloma, bone marrow cancer, blood cancer. I'm going to document everything that comes, as hard as it may be, and try really hard not to be emotional. I'm a very positive person, and so This is hard. I have discovered something new um, that I've been drinking and making at home. It's called kombucha. Kombucha. It's fermented tea, and I'll do a video on how to make it. Um, it's delicious, but if you go to buy it in the store, it's like $3.50 a bottle. If you make it at home, it costs you six tea bags, a cup of sugar, and some bottled water. <laughs> and so uh, it's very cheap to make, and it's delicious. It's, uh, it's all natural fizz. <laughs> um, sorry. Yeah, I got you dizzy again, right? Um, it's all natural fizz, but I will be doing it. But now that I have got myself out of the emotional state, <laughs> um, I ask that you people would continue to follow me. Um, if you haven't hit that like button, hit it. If, if you haven't followed me, follow me. Um, I am not going to pull no punches and I'm not going to sugarcoat nothing. I'm a realist. 
I'm positive. I'm a positist. Yeah. <laughs> God. Blah, blah, blah. Tongue tied today. I'm a positive person. I stay positive. I try to find my happy every day. And so I'm going to try and be as, as positive as I can about this journey that I've been given by God. He sustained me for over 38 years with Hep C. He'll sustain me now. He'll get me through this. But I'm going to take you people on this journey with me. A real life journey. A real struggle to fight for my health back. Um, you were with me through Epiclusa. So many of you are being healed. So many of you, oh, my dear ones, so many of you have bad side effects. <clears throat> Not just while you're on the Epiclusa, the horrible side effects after Epiclusa. For those of you who suffered any palpitations or pains in your chest while you were in Epiclusa, I say right now, go get your heart checked. It could be possible that this medication actually harms our blood vessels. I'm not trying to be a scary cat or try to hurt you or scare you, but I think that a simple test, and it can tell by your blood, simple blood test, insurance covers it, a simple blood test will check your heart. Um, go get your heart checked. Have your pancreas checked. Have your your numbers checked. It was during a regular uh, CBC that they found um, the blood cancer. They had to do a more intensive test, like 18 vials of blood. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have AIDS. <laughs> I, I, I don't have syphilis. <laughs> um, uh, I do have cancer. I have chosen to walk this journey alone. Yep, I have. You know, when we have a mate, in our life that's different than we are no matter how much you love them or they love you if you don't have enough in common and you don't have respect for each other it don't work out it don't help when your mate is narcissist or passive aggressive <laughs> And he is. Um, I don't wish him ill. I I wish him the best. I, I adore his mother. I could just eat her up. <laughs> she is the sweetest little old lady. <clears throat> I adore her. And she's the one supposedly caused him his issues. <laughs> uh, I, I adore his mother. I love his sister. Um, and if he wants to be my friend, I, I am willing to be friends, but I have chose to do this journey alone. I need to stay positive and healthy for myself. And so if I come here and I make a video to all of you and I get emotional, please don't, don't let it get to you. You're going to be my sounding box. You're going to be my V-blog. Uh, you're going to be my companion in healing. I still have all the side effects, post side effects to Epiclusa. God bless you. <laughs> That's my phone. <laughs> That's my notification sound for text messages. I still have all the post side effects that I had, except for that flu like thing, um, since I got off of it. So, a little bit, I'm telling you, I'm so tongue tied today. Since I got off of Epiclusa, it's not gotten any better. Um, it's still here. Um, I, I could be as positive as I want to be, 
and I am. I live with it every day, and I shrug it off as just one more thing that life threw me. But if if you all are wanting to know about it, my blood work did come back that I'm still still cured. I do not have Hep C. I have no viral load at all. And this oncologist didn't even. He thought I had Hep C. He he, he gave me four bad news that day, and one was you got Hep C. And I told him no, I don't have Hep C. I just got cured. And he goes, well, you have the the antibody and he tested me and sure enough my viral came back in the negative so I am still cured from the hep C now I just got three other things <laughs> I'd rather have the hep C <laughs> just saying just saying anyhow I am going to be doing videos on my eating habits my health habits things that I'm changing and working on I want you all to be a part of this journey with me. Um, I don't intend on going anywhere. I don't intend on letting this or any other take me to my knees. And I can rock a bald head like nobody's business. <laughs> I will cut this blonde hair off in a heartbeat and sport it. So, my dear friends, loved ones pray for me pray for me hit the like button hit the share button subscribe and walk with me on this journey of multiple myeloma I find out Wednesday the 31st the extent and the stage of the multiple myeloma I have none of the side effects except for the bone pain and I have been having really bad bone pain and I've told you all I'm on pain management and the medications and there's some steep hard medications don't touch that bone pain I've had bone pain for 30 years and this new stuff that's hit me in the last I say six months since I started Epiglusa uh, is unlike any pain I've ever uh, felt. Um, I wake up all night long in pain. So if you see rings and circles around my eyes, I wake up constantly in pain. No matter how much pain meds I take, that is the only side effect that I physical side effect that I have for multiple myeloma. I I did break up uh, my wrist last year. A spring actually falling. And all I did was trip. I didn't even hit the floor that hard. Uh, but I broke my wrist, and one of the one of the uh, symptoms is very weak bones. And normally, people don't break bones falling out of beds or falling off couches or tripping over a couch. I did. Um, so I have, and you're supposed to have besides the blood work coming back um, positive, you're supposed to have signs. And out of like six and seven of the physical symptoms, I have just one. That's just the way I roll. <laughs> Keep them guessing. <laughs> Keep them guessing, baby. <laughs> so anyway, I wish you all a great day. Thank you for sitting here with me during my emotional state. I'm hoping that the next time I come on, it won't be so damn emotional. Um, the peace and love to you all. You're, you're in my thoughts, you're in my prayers, and for those of you who are considering Epiclusa, consider it extra hard, or any of the any of the cures. Um, I, I'm afraid that the cure itself causes cancer, and you know what? Let them sue me. I never had an issue. I was healthy as a horse until I took that damn medication, and I wish to God I had it, but I did. And now I'm going to fight this and I'm going to win it because I have God on my side. And I have support and prayers of the community that is so huge that God can't help it here. So send your positive vibes, send your positive energies, your prayers, whatever you believe in, send them my way because I can't get enough. God bless. Have a great day. And Hey, catch my next video on Kombucha, the miracle drink. <laughs>
I love it. Anyway, peace. Dan, ding, dot, off.